Let, let's uh, look at that picture again of you in Tennessee Lee. I, I want everybody to see this because this is one of those miracles of photography in the <laughs> WWE, if you will. As I understand it, because I've met Mr. Parker, and he's taller than me. Hell yeah, he's six. And, 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 and I don't mean to. Uh, I mean, I think I'm taller than you. So I'm just looking at this photo where y'all appear to be the exact same height. And I say, how much of this is just because he's wearing a hat or is Mr. Parker doing the old split leg and announcer deal sprawl out. So you don't look taller than the talent, or are you standing on a box? Conrad, I don't know if you understand what today is, but today is not only our two year anniversary. It's also the anniversary of the Scott Steiner math promo. It is. So with that being said, we may or may not be able to get Mr. Steiner to do the math equation and it will extrapolate out and you, know, you will know exactly throw that picture up there. Damn it, Marcus, because you will understand the mathematical equation, how we are exactly the same height. And guess what? You see my two peace sign up there. Yeah. That's I'm given the math equation right there. That's squared. Does that make sense to you now? Total sense. Okay. We cleared that up. I, I appreciate it. But Conrad, to answer your question, hell yeah, it's a damn box. <laughs> You're standing on a box. Got to be. Got to be, right? I mean, because that dude's, like, that's the thing. Like, I know nobody talks about this, but for years and years, w the, the wrestling industry wanted T-tiny managers. You know, we wanted guys who looked like downtown Bruno to manage Psycho Sid. Yeah. We wanted little bitty referees too, and make the guys look taller. And, but then there's a couple of exceptions that do phenomenally well, like Colonel Robert Parker, man, he towered over almost everybody he managed, but he did a good job. And Nick, referee, Nick Patrick, he was as big as a lot of the town. I mean, look at the luchador era. He's bigger than all those guys, but he did a phenomenal job as a referee. Where, where did you land in, in, in your, cause you had seen it work both ways. Did you have a hard and fast rule or best practice or rule of thumb for the heights of managers or the sizes of referees or what have you? You know, Conrad, it's funny. So this is another Sunday afternoon thought from uh, the last outlaw. As I watched, in case you didn't know it, I'm a huge Steph Curry fan. And he may go down in history as the greatest shooter that the game of basketball has ever produced. But as I watched him perform yesterday, and it's a performance, it's a step above playing the game. It really crystallized me in me that he may or may not be the best shooter. I, that, I, I think everybody will be able to d debate that and Ray Allen and all kinds of things. But I don't think the game of basketball has ever seen a better ball handler he the ball is an extension you cannot get it from him he gets his shots open because he's the very best at the most simple thing that you do on the court and that's dribble a basketball the reason i bring this up right now is is that robert six five and the anti-manager during this era but yes. because he could talk he had a job nick patrick big Maybe not the typical, he liked to wear his hair long. I mean, I'm not going to say he's anti-ref, but he he didn't check all the traditional boxes of, of a yes. referee, but he could call a match for both guys. He could, I mean, he's just not good, but great at what he did. I kind of looked during this era, Conrad, of the Double J reboot, the NWA this, uh, you, you know, I, I'm, I, I say the promo and piss off the top baby face and, really didn't recover for another year and all that kind of stuff. Had I not been able to do the basics of a match really, really good. I just think it, it boils down to if, if you can perform really good at the basics of your industry, I'm not going to say you have a job for life, but man, you rise right to the top because the, 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 the booker, the promoter, the creative dude can plug you in and know that you're going to deliver. Uh, so do I have a, a default 
I've never been one. It's a case by case basis. But if you can get the job done, whether you're a six five manager or a, a a a bigger ref that maybe a taller ref or whatever it may be, if you can do the basics, that was to me the litmus test. Well, I'm makes glad sense. to hear that you aren't. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. I mean, sincerely, I um I know that that's always been a thing in wrestling, but I didn't know in Memphis, was that something that was drilled in one way or another? Because I don't think it's any trade secret. Lawler, not the biggest guy in the world. Mr. Dundee, certainly not the biggest guy in the world. So I didn't know if as a rule of thumb, maybe your dad or your grandmother said, son, you can't have a referee more than this. Or you can't have a manager more than that. That sort of thing. Oh, it was none of that. It was, I mean, Frank Morrell was a referee for years in here and he was a former pretty big heel six, two, 260. Um, so no, 